Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? We are here with the coach. Coach Nick Love is in the building. Make sure you give us a heart and a thumbs up when you get in here, okay? Thank you for having me again. Yeah, you're coming. We're getting everything set up um, on here. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second, y'all. So what's going on, CCS? It's good to be back. Yes, yes. With you I'm guys and see you guys. Here. You always talk about how you created this lovely community. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling my friends, like, yes, I'm going on, like, the, my favorite place to be actually is <laughs> well, here with well, you. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I was like, she created this great community. I love it. Um, yeah, so I'm happy to be back. Yes, I'm CCS. happy. I'm happy to thank have you, you for back. Me. Hey, CCS, you know we are here live. In effect, give us a heart and a thumbs up as soon as you get here. You know, share the show. Coach is going to get in with the dating do's and don'ts mm -hmm. to let you know if you are dating with a strategic plan, right? Yeah, I'm going to give them some tips to prepare themselves. So I am a dating and relationship coach, right? Yeah. But I'm really a dating strategist. Oh, right. okay. But we just use, um, I just use coach because people like that were a little like better that, than yeah. the strategist. Yeah. Okay. But that's what my specialty is, mm -hmm. helping people create a strategic dating plan mm -hmm. so they can be successful at dating and date well. I know. <laughs> I know. Y'all see that, Coach? Coach want everybody to be successful. He is loving love and all of that. Before we get into that, what have you been up to? How has things been? You know, I love you. You're my favorite. Your favorite mm -hmm. person. Stranger turned family. Oh, right. Two Fs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're just always, you know, yelling at me. Y'all know how he do. He get all up in my business. Hopefully, he don't do that I'm today. I'm nosy. I can't help it. Oh. You know I'm a social worker. So, you know, I always tell people, I became a social worker because I'm nosy. I like to be in people's <laughs> business. So, I mean, so that's what you know. that, That's what he called it. Be, be my business. <laughs> so, um, you know, he's been doing some great things. And we missed you. I feel like I haven't seen you in, like, 20 years. I know. I'm so I happy to be like back. The last I'm time so I seen you was the, in the 2020 up. show. Remember the last show oh, yeah. we did was right before New Year's, right? Mm -hmm. We did the Goodbye 2020, okay? Mm -hmm. um, that was really, really dope. I was just looking at all the pictures from, from us when we did that. I was like, Coach is just, y'all know he is my, my, I call him my Beyonce. <laughs> he always, keep, he got to have his angles together. He, no. Coach don't play. When it's time to take a picture, he be like, mm-mm, hold that, reset, hold that. All right, take it. All right, yeah, I like that one. What you think? So it's always fun. And always. Um, we're finally here again together. It's been like oh. a year. Yes. It's been a whole year, y'all. Wow. It's been a whole year yes. since Coach has been here. And, you know, we're going to see what's been going on and catch you up with everything. You guys drop any questions in the comments below. If you would like to call in um, because you want to ask the coach questions. Because I saw when I posted it in the group, you know, some people were like, you know, a dating plan. You have to have a dating plan. So I know we want to get into the do's and don'ts, but I also, you know, coach is going to answer the questions as to why you should have a dating plan, right? Mm -hmm. All right, coach, give us what you got. We can start with the dating plan. So, you know, like I said, again, I'm a dating strategist. I think that um, in order to be successful at anything mm -hmm. or think of anything major in your life that you wanted to accomplish, if it was a career change or losing weight, you made a plan, you stuck to it. And then you were successful, even when it comes to buying a house or something. You know, you, okay. you know, you sit down, you're like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do. Yeah. But when it comes to dating, a lot of times people be like, oh, I'm just going to wing it. It's love. It's just supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And everyone is not that fortunate. Yeah. So I think it's good to approach dating with a dating plan, especially if what you're doing right now, you're not being successful when you, when it comes to like putting yourself out there when it comes to dating. Yeah. If you're not successful, then you need to do something else. So I always say get out I, your own way. Get out your own way. Sometimes bring in, bring in a coach. Bring in someone like a, a, a professional to help you. You know, mm -hmm. like if someone can't be successful at like um, getting the results that they want in the gym, what they do? They hire a coach, right? A yeah, fitness a coach. fitness trainer. Yeah, so dating is no different. If what you're doing is not working, then try a different plan. And that's why I'm here. So you're not alone when it comes to dating. Yeah. You have me, your own personal dating coach. Now, is it, ever, <laughs> is it ever hard for you not to give your personal opinion? Do you always give a from a professional point of view? Or does sometimes, you know, in business when we do things, our personal feelings and stuff are just getting away? You ever have a client where you're like, look, you need to just stop dating because you're just a goddamn mess. Um, so <laughs> I, I've turned away clients because I feel like they need therapy. And I feel like, <laughs> and I feel like they not... I, I personally... Feel and professionally, because mm -hmm. I am a therapist, I feel like, hey, I think 
this person need to work on some things before they even approach it. And they seem okay. very fragile. And I don't want something to happen to them. And then, you know, a bad, a bad situation, situation come up or something. So um, I have, I may have done like one session with a couple people. And then I'd be like, you know what? I think you should really go to therapy or um, check out therapy. Yeah. Or get back on your medication. Yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Not even so, because I know like even with what I do, like I get to meet and I talk to different people all the time. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes it's someone that I've been talking to um, in particular where I have to like fully have me together before I can like get on to our session, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you know I do my motivational speaking and my life coaching and just the whole mo. I call them the my momentum boost. I'm big on boosting the momentum, you know, with people and you know. But my one my one client, as you know, you like your words. I'm I'm gonna use his words tonight. It's like really really difficult sometimes because if I'm not in that place, it's like hey, I can't I can't I'm no good for you if I'm not available and in that space have you ever had moments like that where maybe you have been like dating and it's like look i can't deal with your bullshit and mine right at the second somebody gotta take a pause if i'm dating to myself not the yeah like thing. like when you're doing it then with your personal life and stuff or like when you're dating somebody and if it's going good or bad and then they if someone comes with you with their problems at the same time you know sometimes lights can happen and it's like come on why this person called me today with this bullshit i'm trying to still figure out mine Oh, I mean, I believe in self-care. I believe in setting boundaries. So if someone call me and I feel like I'm not in the right headspace, I'm, I'm really big on communication. Okay. You know, so definitely, hey, today's not the great day. Can I call you back later? Okay. Even like if, in the relationship, I'm, I'm I'm, like, hey, can we get some ice cream and talk about this tomorrow? Tonight is just not the night. Okay. So let's talk about it later. Oh, we're going to have to come back to that part because that just made my <laughs> skin itch. Don't, if I want to talk today, don't fucking tell me to come back tomorrow. Well, I think you have Ugh. to... Um, Respect people's boundaries. Uh -huh. And I think it's always good to create boundaries, especially if you know that some people are runners, so they might exit the relationship or run away from a, a conversation mm -hmm. or a hard conversation, and they might want to leave the house or something like that. It's like, okay, if I know this about you, and you know I like to talk about it when we in that moment, then we need to come up with something and meet somewhere in the middle. Okay. Maybe like it might be three hours, four hours, mm -hmm. 24 hours, 48 hours, but then whatever that time that we agreed on, then we need to have that conversation. Okay. Yeah. He said communication is the key. That's what we say. Hey, hey, Queen. Hey, Madria. Hey, Ray. Hey, Instagram. How you doing? Hey, Kitty Cat Management. You know, her name, wait a minute, this is random because her name is just so funny to me. Kitty Cat. Kitty Cat Management. Okay. I love it. So she has, Maybe she, that's her business. Maybe she yeah, has Kitty Cat. It is. Cat. No, she don't manage Kitty oh. Cat. Oop, he thinking about we had No, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know she was like doing a Brazilian. <laughs> No, she actually is a, um, she managed artists. She managed oh. rap artists and stuff like that. Ooh. She's supposed to be coming on the show. She will be oh, on Instagram. Yeah. Um, go ahead, y'all. Yeah. Drop in y'all questions for the coach. I see where Queen T. Bay says setting boundaries. Like Absolutely. Setting I'm boundaries. big on setting boundaries. I think that's very important, boundaries. Anytime you start a new relationship, mm -hmm. you set boundaries. Even if you're already in a relationship, you can always go to that person and be like, you know what? I didn't say this before, but I want to create this boundary. Okay. Um, but yeah, we can jump into some dating do's because tonight is about dating do's and dating don'ts, right? Yes. So the first dating do, I think that first impressions are very important. So you should make sure you're on time. When someone takes the time out and puts you in their schedule, you know, people value their time. So you want to make sure you're on time. Let them know, I appreciate you asking me out on a date and I'm going to make sure that I'm on time. Well, I got better with my time because y'all know he always come up here and be shady. You know, we were on time tonight. He, he went to the camera, come no, on we and just, he is always shady to me, you know. That was the past year. This <laughs> is 2021, Candy. Yeah, yes. Going to 2022. One thing coach will do is goddamn hold you accountable. Like, every time that coach has shown up for me, you know, he's like, um, dang, the last thing we did, and I didn't even fucking release the footage. And oh. coach was like, um, Candy, you have to respect people's time, you know. So he definitely Definitely, I, what I do is, you love about you, you practice what you preach. Absolutely. It, it's definitely into that. Right. Out like, of like the 10, 100 times I've been here, I've probably been late one time and something happened, I think. Look, coach, you and I still don't even think you were. I don't remember coach, that. Coach, you was no. late twice. <laughs> coach, you was late like what two times. But one time someone, you was like a half an hour late. I don't think so, no. See? We but someone said um, boundaries, right? Yeah. Um, 
So, yeah, you're, um, you, it's good to set boundaries and let people know, like, hey, respect my time. You know, people value their time. Yeah. Yeah. Someone said we'll be drinking. I mean, this is like free promotion. Is it free promotion? Yeah. yeah. This is candy... Call it secrets. secrets. And I don't want to be like just promoting people's I, stuff. I, I don't know. I don't care. But it's <laughs> not right for free. I'm joking. Hey, no, but no, for oh, real. No, I'm, glad, you know, I'm glad he respect the brand, okay? He's about that. But no, it's, I, what is the, what is this? Capriccio? Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we're drinking. Coach must have felt it in the universe mm -hmm. that I needed a drink tonight. I mean, mm -hmm. I have had, uh, you know, this is a commercial. I have had a long week, a long two weeks and today i was just like you know what i felt like my brain was about to explode mm -hmm. yeah so it's like you know i'm doing some things where i have to use a lot of thinking power and it's and it's weighing me out it's exhausting it is so exhausting no, so, so thank you so do you recommend somebody to date me today right um now? i mean if you can manage it i mean <laughs> we all have times like that right <laughs> if you can manage it we all have a day like i like on tuesday i felt like it was friday yeah, like I was so, like, I didn't no, know. I, I was forgot today was Wednesday. Yeah. But I mean, that's not every week. That's not every day. So I mean, yeah, sometimes we just have those weeks, those days. So yeah, yeah absolutely. If you can manage it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the second one is creating a dating routine, right? So before you go out on your date, mm -hmm. you want to do something that's going to put you in a good mood. Like get those good hormones going, like mm -hmm. the endorphins and your dopamine. So one thing that you can do is go for a run, you know, because that's going to release the dopamine and the um, endorphins, the feel-good hormones, make you feel good. Do some singing in the car. Okay. Um, in the shower. Or, like, let's, what I like to do is I like to play, like, a comedy um, album. A comedy album? Yes. Because you're going to laugh. That's going to put, you know, laughing is therapeutic. That puts you in a good mood. Yeah. So, yeah. So I was watching nut, <laughs> so, so, so laughing, relaxing, all that too. Yeah, that's good. Like, cause that when you have an orgasm, of course, that release the um the good you the know oxytocin, dope, oxytocin, ah! and all that like, good stuff like that. So, yes, they need to be released. Yeah, that's a good one. You guys, make sure you head on over there and you follow Coach Nick Love on Instagram, Coach Nick. Love y'all know he he you know I always got to do the little promotion for him because coach just I always, he always forget I, I, I get so into it I always forget yeah but yeah coach Nick Love on Facebook and Instagram and my website is coachnicklove.com yeah and I see someone say yeah I agree with the dating routine yeah so whatever makes you feel good get in that if you need to call one of your good friends that you know always put you in a good mood but that's gonna make you laugh call them on your way to the date so when you get to the date you can show up be ready and you have positive energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, now, what about you know? I always interrupt him, and he I messes up his whole curriculum, y'all. No, I'm good today. Everything. I know. You gonna say? Yeah. He said, "I know." <laughs> go, go four years in with me now. So, what about you know some of those people who and you know some y'all are in the group? Give us a heart and a thumbs up. I'm not going to um, put y'all out there today, you know. But some people in the group, you know, you know, Candy Coated Secrets, they don't want to get out of their own way. Like it's like, no, I'm not bending, I'm not changing. Mm -hmm. um, I keep meeting these guys. These guys aren't um, X, Y, and Z. Or you know, one person in particular keeps meeting women, and he's saying that all the women want, they just keep asking for money. Everybody just keeps asking for money, for money, for money. And he feels like the dating pool is horrible. Well, wow, you yeah. know, one thing about you and I that we have in common is that we believe in law of attraction. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm big on that. And universal law says like attract like. What are you putting out into the universe that you keep attracting the same person. You need mm -hmm. to do some work on yourself because whatever you didn't learn from that next person and that same person comes again, then you need to actually sit down and say, okay, I keep attracting the same person. I need to do some work. What is it? Yeah. Am I am I keep attracting liars because I'm lying to myself? Oh, my God. Coach, you see, know? this is why I love you. Girl. <laughs> because, look, Coach, Coach understands because sometimes when I talk about this mm -hmm. and things like that, you know, it, I, I'm not up to, to be challenged. I'm not trying to challenge anybody's knowledge or anything right, like right. that. We only speak what works for us. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people do not believe that you are what you attract. Like some mm -hmm. of them don't believe that, but I'm like, it doesn't necessarily mean that how the person is being or acting towards you mean that it's going to come back directly that way or that it's you per se. But it's like, if you look at yourself and really examine yourself, you could probably find an area, like you said, where you've lied, where you haven't been consistent. Where to you, yourself. Yeah, too, yeah, 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 yeah. Where you forgot to call someone yeah. back. If you're like not that. showing up for yourself. And then you then meet that person yeah. that lacks in certain areas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coach, tell them it's real. Tell them the law of attraction I'm, is I'm real. all about the law of attraction. Oh. I've, I've attracted everything in my life that way. So. Me, me too. Yeah, the, good and, the good and the bad. Oh. The good and the bad. I've attracted, oh. I've attracted the good and the bad. I was trying to read the comment. It's, it's, yeah. 
Go ahead. He, uh, oh, yeah. Y'all, y'all, come on, Ray. You know Coach don't curse. He says, Ray Field said, what is that? Let's take that down because Coach come ain't helping. Ray Field said, that's what I do, Candace. Jack off. You think better on the second nut. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like if that's, okay. that's going to put you in a better mood again, like when you um ejaculate that does release some oxytocin. So if that's gonna put you in a better mood and everything, do it. So do you? So right, do you jack off before you go on a date? That some people might do that. Right? I say do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Coach Help say, clear your mind. You won't be just thinking about sex. Coach said, free your mind. Absolutely. The rest will follow. That's what involves saying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is so. What is a date? You know, a date yes, is a teaser to the trailer. Well, a date is a teaser to the movie that is you, right? Mm-hmm. So. I recommend on the first couple dates, especially the first date, you leave the room early. You keep them wanting more. Because really? it's a trailer, so, yeah. Like so the first game. date should not be longer than an hour and a half. Okay. Two hours tops. Are y'all taking notes? Your first date should not be longer than an hour and a half, no more than two hours. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That gives I you enough that. time to kind of get to know the person, see if what the vibe was and see if you want to go on a second date with them. Okay. Yeah. So the rest, we're going to put that, I'm going to, I'm going to pin that down in the comment section. Give us a heart and a thumbs up. What okay. You down? Your first date should be. So think of teaser trailer movie. Ooh, teaser trailer. You know me. And like you know what the movie is, right? Yeah. You say that. So you know the teaser come out and then the trailer. Coach, the movie. you talking about me, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about you know, me I can straight being the teaser, a strategist but... and giving my clients good strategies when they're first dating. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he come. I always have so much fun. I always have so much fun with him. Okay, go so ahead. So teaser, trailer, movie. Okay. Remember that. Yeah, also make sure you give the person your undivided attention on the date, right? And when you do that, when you give someone your undivided attention, you're setting yourself Apart from everyone else, we all go to the restaurants. We look at other tables and we see them down on their yeah. phone texting. But so when you get to the table, this is what I recommend you do. Okay. You take your phone and you say before you sit down, or as you sit down, you say, "Oh, oh, I don't know if they can see." You say, "Okay," because uh, but yeah, you take your phone. And you see, y'all, know, y'all know he like his angles. Y'all know he. No, no I can't. No, don't, don't move it. I'm no, good. No, okay. Y'all know he so you take your phone and you be like. Oops, let me cut my phone aside. I want to make sure I give you my undivided attention. So, so we got to say this. Yes. Because they give us brownie points? No, because you're setting the stage, letting them know, mm-hmm. I'm going to give you my undivided attention. And you better So you need to it. follow. So you set the stage. So they should know that they should not be answering their phones or on their phone while they are on that date with you. Okay. Go yeah. say, even if grandma in the hospital just got rushed. But if grandma in the phone. hospital and there's an emergency going on when you first get there, you can say, hey, my grandma's in the hospital, and I might get a phone call, letting them know, giving someone heads up. Okay. So you don't just take a call in the middle of dinner, and they looking at you like, this is rude, you know? Yeah. So you're giving them heads up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so again, with being like, um, giving someone your undivided attention, you want to make sure you're a great listener. Become curious about the things that they enjoy. Mm. So we want to ask open-ended questions like who, what, when, where, how, and all that stuff, you yeah. know? Be interested in what they're interested in. And let them know, okay, tell me more, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell yeah. Me more. But see, can I interject again? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only because, you know, y'all know, I like to try to speak for all kind of different folk, you know. We have the people who really want a strategic dating plan that's really looking for their, you mm-hmm. know, their soulmate. And you have some that are just doing it just to do it. You know, like your dating coach, like how they, they don't hitch. Remember, uh-huh. he just wanted him to get him laid. So, like, what about those? I, my thing is, with the beginning of setting the tone and how you should be, some some people can just pretend so well to where it's like, well, look, you were so attentive to me when we first met. You paid attention while we were at dinner. You cut your phone off. Now we six months and two years in, and I can't even get you put your phone down while we're at dinner. Like, is that something that is going, you, you've you seen in your, you know, in your coaching? So as you get to know people and you date them, you set your boundaries. You say, hey... This is what I expect when I come to dinner table. If I come go to a dinner table and I'm with someone that I'm dating or I'm in a relationship, but I don't expect you to be on your phone. Okay. Or even like a year in. Mm-hmm. This is quality time. You know? Or you can set that dating night. Mm-hmm. That date night. Hey, Thursday's date night. We gonna put the phones down at dinner and it's just gonna be about us for a couple of hours and then we go pick up the phone once we go in the bedroom and end of the night just to check our phones or something like that. But you set your own boundaries. We all have our own internal compass. 
So what works for me might not work for someone else. So it's all about what works for you and just communicating that to the other person. Okay. Y'all yeah. hear that? Pay attention. Don't you be with no whole headed ass woman, you know, because some people just don't care. But this is for people who want to successfully date. Right, coach? Right, coach? Right. I was reading, okay, it's Benita, right? Yeah, it's Benita. Okay. I'm sorry, Benita. Benita says, Apple Ball. It says, Bring, make it bigger. No, say oh, random. You want to say, hold on, y'all, because we got to, you know, coach, 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 trying to see. Here we go. Hey, Benita, girl. This is random, but if you want to go on a date with a man, woman, but you live with your oh, baby mama or baby daddy, that's what be him, as I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, coach. Don't do it. Coach always like that. You know, that's, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, How do you do that respectfully? Baby mama, baby mama. How do you do that? Respectfully? Um, you know what, LeBron just an answered it. I, I would say you don't need to be dating while you're in that situation. It seems like you need to figure out some other things in your life. You need to get other areas in your life yeah. situated before you start dating, and that means of your living situation. Yeah, get your own place. Don't be still living with your ex and all that. No, I would recommend my clients. No, he, so Benita, he wouldn't take take this person as a client, right? Mm. Oh, you. I would take them good. as a client, but we will be working on. Getting them to their own place and then working on that. But I think that, but you know what, Benita? I know what you mean because I think that goes into the whole um, me and my me and my kids, father or mother is together, but we not together, but we live together. Type that's of, what she type, just said. So she said, why though, if you're not together and you're not having sex, be, what's the plan? How but why, long have, well, why are you still the, there? Number one, what's, what's the plan and how long have y'all been living together? And why if, it's, if it's a long time, then again what's your plan and why you need you still to get there? out the house yeah. yeah why are you still there yeah you know sometimes sometimes Benita, i think people use that as like an excuse i just think that you got a lot going on like can i come over and just chill on your couch with your baby mama or your baby daddy walking around how's that gonna make them feel and how's that's, that gonna make me feel and that's what you know so you need to make sure when you're dating you want a comfortable situation for the person that you're dating or to invite someone into your life if i'm coming over here and you got your baby daddy walking around, that's going to make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's like, um, and then it also can show a sign that you might be a little messy. You know, you I pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Situated you have to pay attention that. to people's situations when um, you talk to them. Raymond said they probably still want a lease. Yeah, that, that, that works too. Break the lease. Well, everybody, coach, we just had COVID. <laughs> everybody don't got no damn um, two months rent. Well, again, and all that's a, that at once. So this is something that I talk about with, like, I, so I was always raised that you should always have at least three to six months um, of all your monthly bills. Mm -hmm. But, so when I'm talking to clients and they're like, okay, I want to move in with someone within six months. Okay, if, if y'all have to break the lease, can you afford that? That's one thing that we need to plan for. Mm -hmm. And is it going to affect your credit? Well, you but should you never move it, into um, a place. And I'm, that's what my mama told me. You don't never yeah. sign a deed and right. you can't take care of it if this Right. Fails. So again, I'm a dating strategist. So it's all about making a plan and also about the things that you choose to do. If that doesn't work, then what's next? Especially if it's come to moving in with someone. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, they need to be not living with their baby mama or baby daddy. Yeah, and that, that's, that's a little toxic. They can confuse the children and things like that. But, you know, a lot of people stay married just for the damn security and comfortability. You know, a lot of married folk that's goddamn unhappy right now, but that's another show. Yeah. And again, like I was saying, um, as far as giving someone your undivided attention and make sure you're um, being a great listener. If you're connecting with someone or something, don't hijack the conversation. Be like, oh, yeah, this happened to me. You want to let them finish. Let yeah. them get it out. You know, they'll respect that more. Shut up, y'all. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you have to, you should flirt while you're on a date. Flirt? Absolutely. Flirt. And there's a, um, the safe spots where you can touch when you're, like, on your first couple of dates. And Ooh. that is the hand. Ooh, wait a minute, y'all. You know, you got to show me, Coach. Coach say it's some safe spots mm -hmm. that you can touch while you're on your first date. Right. Okay. I feel like Instagram got a better angle. But oh, it's hey, the hand, the your hand. arm, and your shoulder. That's the safe spots what to touch. What about here? No. Why? That's too that's, intimate. Yeah, that's the spot yeah. I'm touching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend hand, arm, and shoulder. Okay, so your hand, days. your arm, and shoulder. Mm -hmm. But this is going to remind me of Ray Charles. Remember Ray Charles was checking people's wrists? But it's touching. It's, it's, okay. Yeah, it's creating okay. moments, especially when they're talking about something that they're passionate about. Yeah. You want to rub their hand. Okay. I was like, yes, good story. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sorry you had to experience that and rub okay. their hand. I'm so here for you. Oh, okay. Oh, see, that see, might see. be a bit much. You know I, think, I think that's a bit much. I'm here for you. 
again, bro. again, teaser trailer movie. Teaser trailer hand movie hand, hand on, on shoulder. shoulder teaser. Then you touch all the other parts later. That's okay. the trailer, and then okay. you get to the movie eventually. Okay. Maybe. 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 Okay. Maybe. You see how he yelled at me? Maybe. <laughs> all right, coach. I'm at the. I'm still at the preview. <laughs> right. And, and, and again, I'm a data strategist, right? So yeah. you wanna think about how you're gonna talk about yourself. I, I see. <laughs> You want to think about how you're going to talk about yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, 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 I have five questions that I recommend people ask on the first date. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but, so think about how you're going to talk about yourself. Again, when you approach dating, you're, you're approaching dating like you're going on a job interview or like mm -hmm. you're job hunting. Okay. Basically. Okay. So, you know, like when we go on a job interview, we know how we're going to talk about ourselves. We're going to talk about the positive things. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to talk about how our last job did us or screwed us over or anything like that. So when you go on a date, you should be talking, you about, should your be talking about your ex. Y'all hear that? Right. No negativity. Okay. Don't talk about your ex. Don't talk about your ex. Okay? Don't talk about the ex. Right. Okay. Don't touch. All right, let's go to the comments. Give us a heart and a thumbs up if you're here. You guys can share the show. Okay. So they, so I call them dating. So Ray says, so sex on the first date is a bad idea, coach. I think for my clients, because my clients are looking for long-term relationships with the eventually a lot of them want merge. So yeah, sex on the first date, I would not recommend it. I think that having sex is the most intimate way that you can share yourself with someone. You sh that moment should be special. It is. You only get to have sex time. with that person for the first time once. Make it special. <sighs> and if that's going to be your forever, what's the rush? He said, "That's, that's gonna a be couple forever. other ones up here too." So you can push it. Oh, you know, everybody's learning. Just no, just push, push the comment. Let's go. Go to the other comments. Give I was us making sure we got you like all of them. Um, I see. Say, be honest with them and let them know be you're not ready. With them and let them know the truth. Yeah, don't touch right? my face. <laughs> see, see, Ray said, "Don't touch my." Face. <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, yeah, and some people are sensitive about your face. You know that's too intimate. How they sensitive about their face, but they sensitive about their mouth. Oh, he putting their, their mouth down on the Well, bed. I said the safe spot, so your hand, your arm, and your shoulder. I ain't say nothing about your mouth. And your face. <laughs> no hands up. See, LeBrent said no hands up my face. It's a trigger. LeBrent said yeah. you shouldn't even kiss on the first date. I think you shouldn't do it with a hug. With a hug? Yeah. With a church hug or not a church hug. It's no good hug. Not a church hug, but with a hug. So end it so end it with a hug. Not a church hug, y'all. Not a hurt, not a church hug. And if it was really good, you might can end it with like a peck on the lips or something. So just living said, I'm not with it. And not with what? Um oh. <laughs> I don't know, just just what you're not with. What is it that you aren't with? Just just living. You know? What is it that you're not what is it that you're not with? Okay, I'm, but, I'm here. I'm so here. again, um, think about how you want to talk about yourself on the first date the and first things date. like that. And also, be well versed in like pop culture, current events, mm -hmm. the news, um, the, the, the it new like podcasts and things like that. So you can have things to talk about and make the conversation easy breezy. You know, easy breezy. a natural way to connect like a with someone. Like a natural flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you create okay. in that natural way that you can connect with someone. It's not, you know. Or anything like Coach, that. I feel like you were running out of the camera tonight. Oh, you know what? I, I told you I felt like that earlier. I felt like when I did like, okay. Yeah, yeah here we go. Cool. Yeah, Coach, right. Coach, Coach. I'm, I'm back. I'm in. Come on, Coach. Be the energy you want to attract. You see, attract me. You can get right. on me to see this stuff. <laughs> and also, you want to dress to impress. Okay. You know, when you feel, when you look good, you feel good. Mm -hmm. So I always recommend my clients have five outfits that they know that they are uh, the stuff in. Like they feel like they feel confident in all of that. Mm -hmm. So have your five outfits and then you can rotate those five outfits out with your different dates that you go on. Okay. So like your first date can always be this one outfit and then you'll use that same outfit for your other date so you don't get confused. So I know you said during COVID you recommended the um, FaceTime, you know, do the date on FaceTime. Um, do you still recommend that now, even though the world is a little open? I'm sorry, I got excited. I was. I, she turned on the air. Uh, yeah, she turned on the air. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god! I got excited. I was like, yeah, okay. So y'all know. How we so it's just not me. I thought it was just me because I was having a little sip. So you said, say it again. I'm sorry. Um, I was saying, cause shit, I don't goddamn know. Shit. You were saying about the Facebook thing. Yeah. So Facetime. Okay. So since the world is back open, do you still recommend? Um, people to do those FaceTime dates or, ooh, you sweating like I know, that. I'm always sorry. Yeah, I know, we're always I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, do you recommend people to still, you know, do those FaceTime, FaceTime dates? dates? I feel like if you feel... everyone's not comfortable. 
if you're not comfortable with it, no, you don't have to. It's okay. all about what you're comfortable with. We all have our own internal compass. So if you're comfortable, mm -hmm. then do it. But um, some people are not comfortable. So then if you're not comfortable, don't do it. Some people prefer, like, some people feel like, you know, they like, I'm an empath. I like that intimate, like, I like to feel someone's yeah. energy in mm -hmm. person. So if that's what you like, then, yeah. That's what your coach say. It's all about what you do and you do not like, you know. Agree. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna say he's this is the commercial. Uh, yeah, so okay, commercial. So y'all gonna do your thing. So what's going? On? <laughs> this is you know what? So this is so new because Coach has <laughs> never left the camera. He stays on, you know, all of that. Um, I'm gonna act. So Tremanda, Tremanda said, "Is kissing on the first day already putting a person in a category?" Okay, so that's what she asked. That's what she asked LeBron. I want you guys. How have you guys been? We have the dating coach here, and I just wanted to let you guys know that um, if you're liking what you're seeing and everything that's going on, feel free, you know, to go ahead and, you know, donate to the show. Donate, donate to the show. Um, yeah, we can do this one. You know, via you know, I take Cash App, Zelle, and PayPal. You guys, um, I just I just like the fact that you guys have all helped me build my platform and continue to build my platform. Okay, so you know, if you want to make any donations to the show, go ahead, feel free to do so. Matter of fact, I like this one a little better. Hold on, boom, there we go. So you can donate to the show if you like everything that's going on. Y'all know me and Coach. You know, when he comes with his dating tips. You know, I'm the rebel. I don't even think that he would really even take me as a client. I think Coach really likes more so being my friend in the Absolutely. background. Absolutely, we're family now. Yeah, because, and I, because I don't, I, I don't always listen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like that whole teaser trailer movie. movie. Okay, but what's the rush? Why do you have to get to jump to the movie before I got, the teaser the trailer? Because it's just like if you drive a car, um, mm -hmm. when you go to purchase a car, you gotta know what. <laughs> You got to know what you're signing up for, what you're willing to commit to. And, you know, throughout here, we do have some men who don't have no fucking penis. And I know for me, I can't be with a man that don't have no goddamn penis. You, you ever been with someone who had a small penis, right? Oh, my gosh. But listen. I've never been. But you, no? You never had someone who had a small I've, penis? I've boned them, but I would never commit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, early on. I oh, think so. Okay. No, I was going to say, I think that when people create a real connection okay. versus hooking up with someone based off of chemistry, okay. then I feel like that's something that's harder to break, a true mm -hmm. connection. Yeah. And when you have sex with them, the, the chemistry and the energy and everything is there, so it ain't even about that. And then you just tell them what you need to be pleased. Yeah. No one yeah. is going to show up to the party with everything that you like. You got to let people you know gotta what compromise. you want. Yeah, you compromise because I do. Like sometimes, it's like it depends. Like y'all know, give us a hundred thumbs up if y'all are here. I go through stages. Sometimes I feel like I want to. I might want to date and be serious. And sometimes I'm like, I'm not trying to date. I'm just trying to be in my career, get to where uh -huh. I'm going, and then date later. Sometimes dick can be a distraction, y'all. It can be a distraction. Okay, okay, so so what I would say when you say it, like what I take you in as a client, so. Coach, what well, are you trying to do? Turn no, you asked a question. I was just going back to it. Because you said, um, Lord. you said what I take you on as a client. I think, so, like, when my clients come to me, they 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 know what their long-term goal is. They know the end goal is to be in a long-term relationship. So if someone comes to me and they say, I don't know what I want, I feel this way one day, then we need to figure out what is it that you really want. If it's not dating yeah. with you know, the goal is the long-term relationship, then maybe I wouldn't take you on because I like to help people find love. That's why my name is Coach Nick Love, you know? Mm, Coach <laughs> so Nick I want to help love. people, you know, create, um, like I say, a strategic dating plan strategic so they can be successful plan. at dating and dating well. Coach. Yeah. So, Coach, you know, I basically feel like Coach just said he wouldn't take me on it. No, I'm now. saying, like, you if you, saying? if someone comes to me and say, I don't know what I really want, I, feel, I want a relationship... And some days I don't. I would say, do you really know what you want? And then we have to figure that out and see yeah. if we're fit for each other. Because mm -hmm. I help people who are looking for a long-term relationship. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Coach said, look, you know, if you are not into, you know, he's not into the hidden and quit it because he's into the, uh, what do you say, the, the, the teaser trailer movie. You know, one thing, Coach, I may not always apply, but I remember everything you say. Mm -hmm. Amen. I pay attention. That's what's up, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coach yeah. been here Because again, you. like when someone goes to like a, even the personal fitness trainer, they go into them because they're probably not getting the results that they want in the gym. So they 
seek out for professional help, right? I'm sorry, I was reading the comment. I was reading um, the comment. Go ahead. Uh, so, like, when someone come to me, it's because whatever they're doing, they are not getting results that they want. So they want to change up what they're doing, and they seek that professional help. Yeah. So that's what I help them do. Coach say he's here. Right, so if they was someone who was showing the movie before the trailer and the teaser, then we that's something that we need to look at. Maybe you, you want to approach it a different way. No, you I'm just... You him Instagram. He always low... Y'all who no, been I'm here, y'all know he always low key shady. It's yeah. not shade, I'm just saying. <laughs> God. I'm a dating strategist. We had to find out what... What you're doing now, that's not not you, but that's not working for that client, mm-hmm. and then come up with a different way to okay. approach it. Okay. Again. Coach say he's trying to get you to get a ring on your finger. Absolutely. One 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 marriage down. Yes, know? one marriage down. <laughs> so clearly what he's saying. And, and that was work. something big, and she said, this is what really helped me. Tease a trailer movie. It's on my Instagram. I went really? to the wedding. Y'all go ahead to the Instagram. He went to the wedding. He co- he'll get you together and he become big guys. Did, did you give him a toast? No, I didn't give a toast. Oh, well, movie. shit. He gonna give a goddamn toast at mine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Coach is here to stay, you know. Um, what else, what else we got on this teaser trailer? So, you know what, something that you should do at the beginning of the date, and I should have said this first, probably. What? Give a compliment. Give a compliment? Absolutely. As soon as you see them, give them a compliment. Yeah, I hate a man that doesn't give compliments. Mm -hmm. Like, you gotta say, hey, you look nice. That looks good. You look handsome. That shirt brings up your eyes or something like that. Or, if you can't think of something, if they make. The shirt is not bringing up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say, oh, if you need to lie. You can, you can always say this. It's good to see you. I've been looking forward to this all day. Okay. Yeah. So if, you, so if there's nothing complimentable about him, <laughs> you, you want to loosen them up and put them in a good mood. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. Yeah, so Don't be like me. Like, you look them good. Up. Them pants. Did you justice down here, boy? <laughs> Coach said no. <laughs> I miss you too. It's so, so good to be back with CCS. Go ahead, Coach. What we got? What we got next? What's next? So these are the don'ts. So I was gonna say, like, you do want to end the date and let them know, like, hey, I had a good time. If you did have a good time, okay. And let them know I'm looking forward to seeing you again. You're looking forward to seeing yeah. you again. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, and, and and a true gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Or a true lady. Okay. If she had a good time, especially if you pay, she will text you and let you know that once she got home. Mm. And if, if she doesn't know that, anyone with in the sound of my voice, do it. Okay. Yeah. So do it. So the coach is saying after the date, you should definitely text. And let them know you had, and a, good let them know you had a great especially time. Especially if they paid. Especially if they will shit. You should be paying if it's a damn date. Oh, I agree. I'm oh, I'm very traditional when it comes to... um. So the man should dates. always pay? I, I, I think the first couple dates, yeah. Oh, couple, a couple is two. Yeah, the first two dates, and okay. then the lady can plan the next one and pay. See, and I've met and I've met someone before where they were like, they always pay for everything because they just felt like that as a man that the man that's just what they do. Mm-hmm. So they were like, I pay for a fucking even if I go out to eat with my my homegirls, you mm-hmm. know, even if I'm on the date, like mm-hmm. I just pay, like it's not a problem. Right. But for those who is a problem, mm-hmm. y'all got to share the bill. Right. So I see. Um. Just Living said, um, this right here is this the, the last you one? one? What, what is you it? Want alcohol will get you loose. Alcohol, get her loose? Al- alcohol will go you, alcohol will get you loose. Right. Okay, so do you recommend people to drink on the first date? I recommend if you are a lightweight, have one drink, but if you're regular, this you can have two drinks, but two drinks max. You okay. want to make sure you remember everything that's happening. Okay, you want to make sure that you're not so loose where you might end up in someone else's bed. That Giving up too. that movie. Right, because sometimes alcohol will get you in the mood. Yeah, sometimes right. alcohol. So don't set you yourself up. And that's when I use your line, get out your own way. Get out your own way. <laughs> if you're tired of getting If you know you end up having three or four drinks on the first date and you end up in that bed, get out your own way. Yeah, get out, get out your own way. Get out so, your own so way. So a don't is, we can move to some don'ts. Okay. A don't is, don't settle for less than a date. Mm. Hanging out at someone's place is not a date. Can we taste toast to that? Y'all, y'all, what y'all drinking tonight? Give us a heart and a thumbs up. Don't settle for less than a date. Netflix and chilling is not a date early on. Your first couple, I recommend your first six dates should be outside of the home anyway. Okay, so even if they're a chef, they cook for you later. You taste their sampling later. Okay, you taste their sampling and not down there in their sampling. Mm -hmm. So let's go right here. So (laughs) Bentlow said, (laughs) how many blunts you suggest, my G? Because everybody doesn't drink. so On the first day? <laughs> so, I live in Baltimore, so I don't know where we're going where we can smoke a blunt inside. So, I mean... 
<laughs> um, but um, Raymond said so five drinks. Yeah, five drinks. That's a lot. It well, might not be. Two drinks max. You're clear headed. You're lucid. You can still make right decisions. Because drinking alter, alters your alters your decision. Decision. Making. But that's a good one though. How what? many blunts? You suggest well, again, I, re I, re drink. I recommend that um the first six dates should be outside of the home. Okay. So I don't know any place in Baltimore where you can go to smoke a blunt. Okay, so coach is saying bit low that he doesn't know any places where you can go and smoke a blunt. So he doesn't even know what kind of dates you're going on. But right, look, right, look Barbara. Barbara. No, but Barbara <laughs> said or edibles. Mm. Well, she said also um What's I that? agree because I chill at my I can chill at my own place and do that. As, okay, yeah. so Barbara said if she wanted to smoke a blunt, she could chill at her own house and do all that on the damn Absolutely. day. Absolutely, okay. Netflix and chilling that that comes down the line. That sounds more like a plenty, booty call. Y'all have plenty of time to do Netflix and chilling once you're really dating yeah. and getting to know each other outside of the home. So, so does because that, that sets you up when you when you go into somebody's house too early and you know you the big one right there y'all might end up in there. But you know, Miguel said, "How many drinks do it take for you to leave with me?" Hey. Miguel probably wasn't looking for a long term relationship. <laughs> I'm writing that song. I'm, I'm talking about working with clients who are looking for a long term relationship. They ain't talking about how many drinks it takes you to get down with me. If you want to have fun, that's fine, but don't hire me. He said, you want to have fun, <laughs> don't hire me. Right, because, again, I'm for the people who yeah. are looking for the long-term relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come say. Come say. He, Miguel, matter of fact, you need to call Coach, because he want to know what made you write that damn song out here confusing the world. Okay, so Barbara said, maybe a cigar bar, you can smoke a blunt. Oh, I mean, I didn't know that, but I I mean, is that gonna alter your judgment and all that stuff? Like, I don't, you know. So basically, you don't really no want to do mind anything that's gonna alter, substance. alter no, your no. judgment. Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. But then you, you real, never know. Is that gonna make you real chill and be laughing at everything? But then you know. never know, Coach, because then you know some people want that high wear off. Because let me tell you one thing: we can make you do. We can make you think you're in love and make you think well, that the you sex is that. goddamn bomb. Well, don't, don't so you that. don't want that. So you want to clear. You want to be lucid when you're on your dates. You want to be clear thinking. You yeah. know, you want to be making the right decisions for yourself. Again, if you're looking for love, like this is the biggest decision you'll make in your life. Yeah. You know, eventually you, you and this person is going to go be invest in real estate, go have fun a baby. You're going to be laying next to them every night. You want to make sure you're making the right decision. decision. And then again, for women who have sex too soon with someone, when they have sex, they admit high levels of oxytocin, which is the bonding chemical. So you can feel attached to this guy if you have sex with him too soon. And he might be a crazy person. In the universe, we call them soul ties. Soul ties. Unnecessary soul ties. Right. Um, so, but you know what? This is going to hit with her. Barbara said some folk operate better under a bus. So you, know, you can have one or two Because I went on a date before, right. years ago, and they, um, before the gentleman came to me, look at me trying to be all proper. Y'all hear me talking about the gentleman. I'm trying to respect Coach, because Coach, you know, I could be fresh. <laughs> but before he came to my house, I was like, you okay? He was like, he didn't tell me right away. He told me, like, um, the next day after, he was like, I was nervous, so I had to take, um, like, a, a shot Oh, before, before we went on the date. Okay. And, and with that, I understood. But I was like, why the hell are you nervous? Like, I'm not that person that you need to be nervous for. Be yourself. But he was like, he had to take two, he took two shots before he came while he was on his way to come pick me up and all of that stuff like that. So, you know, some, some people may need a little something to... Right. To knock the edge knock off. The to knock the edge off. Out. So you can have one or two drinks. I said two drinks a match. So, two, so coach is saying before the date, you should not be for the date. <laughs> no. You want to show up on a date like with a clear head. So during the date, you can drink to knock the edge off. To knock the edge I off. I know. Don't even let you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can drink to knock the edge off. That's okay. why I say don't. your first date should not be at the coffee shop. <laughs> okay. You can drink to knock the edge off, right? Okay. So Nathan If you're like, wait, one drink. Anyone else? Two drink max. Okay. But you still want to be clear-headed and you'll get that buzz off. I know the first day can create anxiety for men and women. Yeah. So I think it's good to have the option to have a drink if you want it. Okay. So yeah, go to a restaurant. So Nathan X is a question. He said, what's your longest relationship, coach? Um, I'm a therapist here in the um, Maryland area. So um, it's highly recommended um, by the board of social work, the ethics. Um, you know, we have to take our ethics and all that stuff. Um, we shouldn't self-disclose. Ah! This is the call of ethics and social work. 
Really? The code of ethics and social work. Look it Coach, up. Coach said. Look it up. Yeah, you, 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 we're not really supposed to self disclose a lot of. Um, Coach, what you mean with CCS? I know. Can you give but a I'm, roundabout? I'm also, I'm, I'm also a certified licensed therapist. Okay, and so again, Coach you can, y'all can look this up, but you surely shouldn't. Coach, Coach, can't tell. Unnecessary information y'all, about y'all. yourself. Well, I'm gonna have to. We are gonna have to. We, those questions, we gotta bring Coach back as a regular. No, not free game, Raymond. I didn't say free game. I think you should drink during the date if you want it, but not before. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna. So you guys, Coach here tonight mm-hmm. is in his status, and he is, you know, doing his thing. He can't answer those questions. So we're not gonna like have to bring, personal questions. We're gonna no. have to bring Coach back as just a human, <laughs> as a regular. Hey, Coach, I want you to host this show because y'all see how Coach, y'all Coach get all up in my business, and I'm a license <clears throat> everything this, and he gets. <laughs> no, I just speak, you know, I'm curious. I'm nosy. Yeah. I'm a social worker. I'm nosy. He's a social. I'm sorry, I can't help. He's it. nosy, but I will say my longest relationship, you know, for those who don't know, was 17 years. Nathan, if that helps you feel better with Coach. With me? Know. Why you need to feel better with me? I'm because certified. Some, some people want to get to know. Coach, I'm, <laughs> I'm, certified, I'm a certified dating and relationship coach. I'm yeah. certified. You don't so need to he, feel you comfortable know, he, with me. Did like, you go into your doctor's crazy. office when they tell you, hey, you need to lose weight and be like, oh, but you're heavy. My my doctor's a cisgender woman and she's plus size. I know I gained some weight during COVID and I know I need to lose some. But when she tell me I need to lose weight, I'm not going to look at her and say, you need to lose weight too. That's none of my concern. I respect her profession. She got her degree. She's certified. What she say is Coach true. said, respect his knowledge. Yeah. Not I'm certified, degree, and licensed. I don't have to explain myself to anyone. And you shouldn't be asking about me. It's all about you. It's all about you, Nathan. Yeah. Like, you know, it's all about you. Coach say, mind your motherfucking business. Oh, no, not to him. I'm just saying, like, it's not about when you're going to a profession, it's not about what are you doing in your personal life. I studied this. Barbara said that. I'm she a said professional. He, she said, he's right. You can't disclose. He can't yeah. disclose his information of dating. Okay. So, Coach said, mind your business. Y'all not, you're not his friend, guys, but you're not your pal. He's your goddamn coach. <laughs> not okay. in the public setting, we shouldn't. <laughs> not in the public setting. It's, it's called the ethics. You can look it up. It okay. Is. You know, go look it up. Next. What is, what's next on this bucket rank? So, I would say don't talk about your ex too much. Don't talk about your ex. No, absolutely not. So, why not. do you think that that's that a question is, that everybody asks? What? Why aren't you in a relationship? What happened in your last relationship? Because that is a question, you guys. Let us know if you if you've ever heard that. Because like on the first date, people will ask you about your ex. So it's so. Let's see if I got my follow up question. So you shouldn't. So you shouldn't ask about your your their exes on the first date. But coach, is it okay to later on down the line? Inquire, especially when they yeah, show up like parents so charming, it's, it's, or she shows up like she was sent from heaven. It's like, well, damn, why nobody scooped you yet? Well, crazy can't hide in the closet longer than 10 minutes. So any facade they putting on early on, the real them is going to show up. So what I say to that is that, again, being strategic, what you can ask them is how long have you been single? If someone's been single over a certain amount of time, that's a red flag. I say five years. Um, so you shouldn't be single more than five years? If somebody's been single more than five years, then you need to become curious and investigate. Well, become curious. Ask them, like, so what was going on during the five years? What do you feel like was going on? Now, if that five years include the pandemic, that's different because that was a pandemic. But those other four years, if it equals up to five <laughs> years, then you need to become curious. So, Coach says you need to acquire about relationships from 2019 on back. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. you only get a pass with the 2020 Rona relationships, okay? Yeah, like, take your time. Like, the first date should be easy and fun. You keep yeah. learning about them. They're learning about you. So it's not about, like, oh, you know, you'll take a deeper dive later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but on the first I, date, just have fun. I've always, I've always liked the ones that didn't inquire. Because it's like, okay, you don't even care. You're in the now. Because that's one. That's how it is with me, guys. Give us a heart and a thumbs up. Like, I, I don't, don't call me telling me, you know, you find out I'm seeing somebody and you want to tell me, girl, he was with me, and blah, 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 you know, blah, blah. I don't care what he did prior to me. I just care about what occurred while he was doing me. Absolutely. Okay? Or whatever the case may be. But sometimes you do got to check the man facts because that can. The man facts. Yeah, yeah the man thing. facts. Like, okay, like you said, what is his history? Why, why have you been single for the last five or six yeah. years? You can't you can't keep saying that all the relationships ended because it was your partner. No. What parts did you play in that? You right. Know? So don't talk about your ex too much. It's, yeah, and if someone is talking about their ex, that's usually a sign that they're not over their ex. So just said that he, he does it to see if he believes them or not. Mm. To see if he believes it or not. But that's your... That's what you feel. That's your interpretation of what they're telling you. It's not fact. Okay. That's how you feel about it. 
if someone tell you something and you don't believe it, it's not fact. That's your own stuff. Who Why don't Barbara? you believe it? Barbara talking to you. Read Barbara. Read it for me. Oh my gosh, coach. Oh. Hi, she didn't curse. Five years she said, huh? I've been single for five years and celibate. It was nothing wrong with me. I just didn't know. I just didn't want to date any hometown men. So what What did you end up doing? Did you end up moving? Did you end up moving? Raymond said, you got to check the whole facts. You got to check the whole, you got to check the whole facts. <laughs> whole facts. Okay. What'd you say? So tell us what you did, Barbara. Just live. What'd you say? So y'all ain't never had seen on a first date. And it lasts a good while. That's a so again. That's always exceptions to the rules. But again, people come and see me when what they're doing is not working. Okay. So I wouldn't recommend that as a dating strategist. I wouldn't recommend have sex with someone on the first date or the first couple of dates. Again, what's the rush? If you're dating for a long term relationship, you'll get there eventually. Yeah. Yeah. So coach is saying, you know, when you want to get out of your own yeah. way, when you want to try something new, and what you're doing is not working, that's when you hire him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so if your intuition is on point, you might have you might be successful at dating and picking the right people. But again, the people who come to me are the ones who are not successful at what at they're dating. doing. So they approach at dating, they need some assistance. So, you might not yeah. need it just living. So how many of you guys watching tonight? Give us a heart and thumbs up the chair. How many of you guys that are watching tonight that are tuning in? <laughs> how, is what you're doing working? Let me know that. Put that in the comments. Is what you have been doing working? Okay. What has been working for you? What has not? Let us know in the so comments. So you stayed away from your hometown men for all those years and you end up with one. So sometimes that's, I think that's candy oh. line. Get out your own way. Get out your own way. Because it worked for you. Because sometimes I feel like us as women, you know, I can only speak for the women. I don't know how men are when they're dating. Uh -huh. But I, well, maybe we shall say people. But maybe women. You know, <laughs> so, sometimes us women, I, I don't rec I don't recommend anybody to have a whole lot of priorities on their damn list that they don't even have themselves for their person to have. You okay. know what I mean? You sound like what? Like you want them to have a job. You ain't got no job. Oh, you want to, no. you know, things like that, you know. Mm -hmm. You want a man to be slim and fit, but you look like goddamn uh yo gabba gabba eat all day. You know, stuff stuff like that. It's just like reasonable uh, appropriate expectations. You know, I always say that if you, I always say like create a list that what you want in your partner, and if you don't match that list, then you need another list. Yeah, then you need, a, then you need another list. Yeah. So let's go to here. So Bitlow said, "Damn, niggas can't even be single without being considered a red flag." I think multiple partners and. I think multiple partners in five years. So he's saying that he would think that having multiple partners in within five years is well. Let me hold it. It's a red flag. Is it's that what he's saying? And I don't know what you're saying. You know, I don't, <laughs> don't want to say it, but I would. I interpret that. So again, as that if you had multiple partners within five years, right. that he would look at that as a, it's red, a red flag, flag because you had short-lived relationships. Singles. Okay. Because you had short-lived relationships, right? Yeah. So again, what I'm saying is not saying okay, run across the street. I'm saying become curious and get more information. That's get, all I'm saying. Get more information. Coach is saying do a little do a little digging. Understand why. See what's going on. Uh, what did she say? Bar Barbara, Barbara girl, thank you for tuning in tonight, girl. You haven't caught us live in a minute. She got a whole lot to say. She said, the main reason I meet so many beautiful men during my tenure in the military. Perfect, Ooh. yes. It worked for her. And 16 years later, congratulations. Congratulations, 16 years later. You know, hopefully he ain't lost his mind and need his damn PTSD medicine <laughs> from fighting Vietnam, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. What, else, what else we got? So I would say don't ask inappropriate questions. So don't ask about sex and money on a first date. Don't. So Coach says, do not ask about sex and money on the first date. Sex and money, asking about it on the first date, is a no, no. Coach says, do not ask about that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Because, again, like, so on the first date, you don't know if this is going to be someone that you will end up in bed with anyway. So you shouldn't be asking about sex with the I injured. disagree. That comes later. I, I mean, but that's his coach way. Okay, yeah, you disagree? Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel like what? Because I feel like, I feel like for women, we know if we're going to sleep with you off the break. Like, you do? Yeah, I feel and like... How, how, how many times has that worked out for women? 
You know how many times have that worked out for y'all, child? Don't don't be in my business. No, not I said women. I said kids. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm just, I'm, you know, I think like I, I do believe that when people meet you, you know, um, off the break, that maybe this is outside of coach. You know, when they meet you, they know what category they're going to place you. A lot right? of times they feel like that, and a yeah. lot of times they're disappointed. Yeah, like right. they're just going to put you in the. Fun a lot of times they're disappointed. They, they feel like, oh, the chemistry is there, and chemistry will get you in trouble. That chemistry don't get you there. That oxytocin is pumping. You feel like this handsome person is sitting across from you. Yeah. Y'all had a couple of drinks. You're like, oh, I'm going to go back to the place. I know this is going to work. And then it yeah. don't work. A lot of yeah. times people disappoint themselves. So get out your own way. Yeah. Coach says you disappoint yourself when you ignore the mm -hmm. red flags in the beginning, right? Yes. Absolutely. Crazy people, behind the closet. People don't, don't betray us. We betray ourselves when we ignore the red flags in the beginning. Okay. When we ignore the red flags in the beginning. Now, one thing that I can say when it comes to the dating world, if it came down to me, you know, looking at every little thing that was on my list, y'all, I would be dating a goddamn alien. I'm so every little right thing now, that's on your list, how long is your list? I think people should have... Um, 15 babies. Oh, that's your issue. That's so... <laughs> I mean, not your issue. <laughs> I feel like I, I recommend my clients have like three to five deal breakers. Other than other than that, you might can work through the other stuff. What are good deal breakers? I know that everyone deal breakers is different, and it will be. Um, someone that's on substance abuse because when you're on substance abuse, you're a completely different person. Okay. So that's scary for most people. Okay. Um, physical abuse or domestic his, violence. He's, he's, he's so you. strong, y'all. <laughs> Give us a heart and thumbs up. Hey, Instagram. Hey, hey, Keith. Hey, Megan. How y'all doing tonight? Um, make sure you guys are following Candy Go to Secrets on all the platforms. Also, for those who um have the VIP membership, matter of fact, Coach, can you grab that from me up there? The VIP membership up on the shelf. He's such a good, a good, a good, a good host. Mm -hmm. So you can, you guys. For those who have this, can you see this Instagram? For go, for those who have this, we will be doing a TV giveaway, and the TV giveaway is going to be. Um, you know, one of the perks that comes with the VIP membership is if you have this, your name is automatically always entered into the giveaways. So it's kind of like, you know, something that you're investing in, that the gift that keeps on giving, you know, entry to parties, different things that we have, all that stuff. So everyone who is the VIP member, make sure you pay attention because we will be having the... Um, flat screen TV giveaway very, very soon. If not, you know, you want to go ahead on over to the website, www.candycodesecrets.com and um, go over there and make your purchase today. It's only $25, the gift that keeps on giving. If you enjoy what's going on and what we have been doing here and what we, and what y'all, when I say we, I mean us because, you the know, the people, you the, the community yes, I created, y'all have it. helped me get to this place that we're at today. Um, if you would like to donate, continue to donate towards the show, you can go ahead and you can do so. Like I said, I do PayPal, Cash App, all of that stuff. You know, I truly appreciate you guys and I want you to see, you know, what we say, it takes a village. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a village and I couldn't do it on my own without um, without God first and foremost and you guys. But also, I wanted to give Coach a membership oh, wow. on behalf of CCS. Because um, you've been here, you've been dedicated, and you make sure you go ahead and utilize the perks. You go to Cheesecake Cafe and White Marshmallow. Absolutely. I it's tried it. Personal. It was delicious. Yes, yes. Coach, y'all seen that show on YouTube? Coach was like all about somebody I know just seen the show and was like, Coach was promoting the hell out of them. It was delicious. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be on White Marshmallow this weekend. Yeah, so you get 10% off, but you must, you must. You must show your membership, you know, and use the code. And you would know the code if you have the membership, okay? Because I can't be out here giving out the code to use. Y'all just out here just yelling the code right here. Right. But, you know, you have that. You also get discounts on Sweets Express. You also get facials and waxing discounts with Simply Naked Skin. And if you guys have um, any kids, I don't know if you know anybody or have anyone that wants to go to driving school, you get 50% off of the driving class. With um, pro tag, progressive tags and title. They're also on Instagram. And and I have a new business that has been added to the membership, ladies. Give us a heart and a thumbs up here. You know, we, we, I have to get everything together. But you also, okay, will be able to get some Maitland 
bundles, Indian hair, she got every hair, Indian hair, Brazilian hair, virgin hair, white hair, Russian hair, she got, she got, she has all of that, so, you know, if, you know, purchase the membership, it goes a long way, you'll be able to get bundles, food, you know, just things like that, and I just want to say thank you to all the uh, black-owned businesses that, you know, trusted me and my brand to come under, um, you know, Candy Go to Secrets membership, as well as if you like your holistics, shea butters, your oils, you know, shea, uh, renew you body butter, you know, go ahead and you go ahead and go over that and you get 20% off of all your purchases. Really? Yeah. That's so. amazing. I love it. And I love to support black businesses. Yeah. You know what I will add? Anyone who have this card, okay. you will get 30% off your sessions with Coach Nick Love. Ah! 30%. So what you can do is just check out my website, coachnicklove.com. You look at how much I charge for a session, and then you subtract 30%, and then you can... Oh, I'm sorry. Set it up with me. Ah, look, 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 you got this coach. Part, CTS, though. Look at Coach. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> coach just dropped that news on us. Shaboing. You know, and so if you guys have been dating, seriously, if you, for those who I know several of you that are just from what they say in the group that really want to find that person, you know, Coach is not going to steer you wrong. You know, he yell at me. He's not going to yell at you, you know, you know, and, and he has great advice and he's always making sure that you are following those things to get to a successful date. And then like he, he got a marriage under his belt. So the brother knows his shit. OK, about. you know, he knows it. So I definitely oh my gosh, I appreciate it. that was just a shocker for me. You know, get surprises all day long. I love it. You know, I love yeah. CCS. I always tell you I love the community. Yeah. They created it. Yeah, it's amazing. So, I love it. You know, so the so the membership comes with a lot of perks. I know some people may be a little hesitant because it's like, well, what can I use this for? It's constantly growing. Give it time. Everything works. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? And I always say, you can't say you support black businesses and you don't support me, okay? So with all that being said, you know, you can send a donation or two, you know, to get through. I'm I'm okay even if you send a dollar, two dollars, fifty cent, whatever you can give. I totally, totally appreciate that because, like I said, without you guys, I wouldn't even be able to do half of the things that I've been able to done. So I'm just grateful for everyone who has believed in this little colored girl's brand so far. You know I what I'm it. saying? I love it. I think it's amazing. So, Coach, can we get into this question before we get out of here tonight? Random. Random. Is it hard for men to, do you think it's hard for men to <clears throat> express their feelings? I think it's hard for men to express their feelings if they're emotionally immature. Mm. So um, that's for women and men. Okay. A lot of times people like to separate men and women. It's all about your emotional intelligence, intelligence and your emotional maturity. Mm -hmm. You have to, it's all about self-worth. Self for you to show up, you got to do the work on yourself first. So you got to show up for yourself before you can show up for anyone else and before you can show up for any relationship. Mm -hmm. So when you know that what you want is worth it, you should be able to go to a relationship and ask for that. Yeah. Because what I need or what I need in a relationship is important to me. And I know that when I approach a relationship, I'm going to ask for what I want. Mm -hmm. Because I won't be happy if not. You know? Yeah. So yeah. It's... No, I don't think it's a man or woman thing. I think it's about emotional it's immaturity. Emotional. It's emotional. So before we get out of here, so we also know, you guys, give us a heart and a thumbs up, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Share the show. Add people to, you know, Candy Code the Secrets Facebook group. You know, also, when, when you add those people, look, guys, when you come to join in, we are about growing and supporting and promoting. Mm -hmm. So we will follow back. We will do all of those things. You know, make sure you head on over um, and subscribe to Candy Code the Secrets YouTube channel, you guys. I'm so, I'm so excited. I have 191 subscribers to the channel so i'm so 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 excited congratulations thank you i'm so excited about that you know subscribe to the channel also you know there's also the reality show channel you know i have some new things coming to that as well go ahead and subscribe to dream big dream catchers and if you're not able to find that you can always if you have trouble you can always head on over to candy Quarter secrets instagram page click that link in the bio and it will take you to everything that you need okay and we you know we have one of our favorites our fan favorites my favorite even if you wasn't y'all goddamn favorite you know we got coach nick love hit on over he also has a facebook group dating made simple with coach nick 
love, yeah. okay? Yeah. He's getting better with his posting and all of that. Because Coach gets busy and he just be like, social mm-hmm. media. Yeah, I took a break. Like, I, I needed yeah. to take a break because I was focused more on, like, therapy. Like, of course, during the pandemic, therapy was in high demand. Mm-hmm. So my services was in high demand, especially for people in my community. And I had to be there for those people in my community. And I felt like I'm about... When it comes to dating for me, I, um, I always recommend that people date the organic way. They meet people the organic way. So meeting people in IRL, in real life. Okay. So during the pandemic, you couldn't do that. So yes, I can help people when it comes to dating online, but I prefer people to meet someone in real life. You can get a sense of who they are because yeah. I am an empath, so I can sense people' energy. So of course, during the pandemic, I wasn't promoting and I wasn't encouraging people to date. So I was working with the clients that I already had. Yeah. And again, I can help people with their online profiles and things like that, and how to navigate the um the online dating scene and stuff like that mm-hmm. online. But I encourage people to date the organic way. So I didn't want to continue to promote and things like that mm-hmm. if I was promoted in something that, you know, I really wouldn't do for myself yeah. or something that I'm just not that passionate about. And I'm passionate about meeting people the organic way, creating a life where people want to be a part of your life, that yeah. you're outside doing things and stuff like that. So it wouldn't be at home. Kind of depressed. A lot of us was depressed on the pandemic. Yeah. So no, I wasn't like promoted and stuff like that, but I'm back now Monday through Thursday, I'm posting, and that's my own reason. Monday to Thursday, just because that's, like, the time you probably should promote certain things in my own, my yeah, field and yeah. stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm just glad, you guys, give us a th- heart and a thumbs up. I'm just glad to see coaches still here because we we have been independent entrepreneurs from the beginning, just starting it, following our hearts. Mm-hmm. And Coach has really, you know, been here the entire time through CCS. I did not know Coach. Coach found me. I don't even know how Coach I found know. me. I know. You know, the funny thing is, I think I said this before, when I hit you up, I was like, I love your platform and all the stuff you stand for. And when I asked her to come on your show, you asked me, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm promoting it. I'm like, it's no, it's charge. Yeah, because, you know, I was just starting, right. you know, everything comes to like a dollar sign sometimes. So yeah. I was like, okay, cool, this is cool. How much is this going to cost me to get you to come on my goddamn show, goddamn? Because <laughs> I ain't there yet. But, you know, he came on and he also came to the first anniversary. You know, I truly, truly, and, truly, and he came to the third. I was kidding. Oh. Look, look he's like, look, and I came to the third one, lady. He came to the third one, and that's the one thing that I do I do love. Like, Coach has, like, really thoroughly supported. He's really there. He's really about, you know, his business, and he's also about yours. And he was just on the radio. I was on that several times on 88.9 FM here tell about in, that. in where Baltimore. Can, where did um, you find it? Um, you can find it on weaa.org um, and just type in Coach Nick Love in the search bar and, like, all of episodes that I appeared on have come up. I think I did three episodes so far and the audience loved me so they invited me back and back and back and all that yeah. stuff. So I did it what I think it was two weeks ago. Okay. Um yeah the Friday before last and I'm sure I'll be doing it again. We had like so many calls. I didn't even get through everything oh that I wanted gosh. to talk about. So it was a good experience. I loved it. Um the guy Anthony McCarthy, he's been like the PR person for like all the what last shoot several mayors. Several like he's a PR Lord. person and everything like that. So I'm um, so glad. It's a good show. Anthony McCarthy joined on. They actually have a day here named after him, Anthony McCarthy. Really? Before um the um Captain Pooh okay um left office, she um actually she went the to day jail. after him. For Kathy with a child lying, talking about she read the damn children's book. Speaking of damn children's book, I read that children's book and she ain't put no thought into it. Really? <laughs> Did you read it? No. Oh my gosh, y'all! Had that that this is so off the topic, but. That damn book that that woman wrote, she know damn well. She definitely did that just to get a couple of dollars. Because that book ain't even make no sense. It was about the kid wanting to eat healthy foods. And the way she had that thing, it was like, come on, man. That felt like a fucking fifth grader wrote that book. And now she's doing some time in prison for it. You know? Back to you, coach. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, check. you can check out those um the shows that I was on. Just go to weaa.org and type in my name, Coach Nick Love, in the search bar. And my episodes will pop up. You listen to it. You enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. So check me out on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, y'all know y'all can always find Coach here whenever he says he wants to appear. Coach, oh, whenever I'm invited. Coach, Coach, Coach usually call. 
and be like, yeah, I'm coming. You know, coaches are very demanding outside of the camera. But, you know, I, you know, whenever you come, I, it's, it's always fun. I really like it. I appreciate it. You know, we've been rocking for so long. We're family now. You know, yeah. oh, my gosh. I just, like, he just blew me away adding, you know, you guys, out of the membership, you know. Absolutely. Get, sh- get, get, get your get, card. Get, get your membership. Get that 30% off of Coach Nick Love Services. Yeah, well, you know, try something different. Even for those who've never had a dating coach or, you know, never, sometimes, you know, you want to be serious because I wouldn't want anyone to go to coach that's not serious. But also, sometimes trying something different can be fun. It can be exciting. You know, like I say, get out of your own way. You know, and you never know what it is that you could be doing wrong if you don't have a professional to help you, especially if you're entering the phase where you want to actually settle down. Because the goddamn world is coming to an end now. You can't even cough, goddamn it, without getting infected. People are not even really having jobs because of a shot, okay? Mm-hmm. So, you know, try something different. Try something fun. We've been trying to put together this dating this dating event, but some of y'all are just so goddamn stubborn. I'll be trying to keep it with the CCS community, but, um, you know, I've decided that we're going to go outside of the CCS community. You're going to open it up. Yeah, I'm going to open it up because, you know, some people, you know, don't want to get out of their own way. Some people are stubborn and some people are shy. But we're we're going to we're going to get it together. I'm I'm in the process of getting something together for a like date night for those who are in a relationship or for those who are married and for those who are single. So I'm trying to like mix it all together. And that way, it's going to be really, really, really fun. And um, especially if you have that membership, you will get a discount. You know what I'm saying? I can't keep paying for everything for y'all. Oh, we got one contestant. Raymond said, okay, sign me up. Okay, Raymond says, sign me up for the dating thing. Okay, Ray. I got you. Sign you up. Irma said, I need a date. Hey, Mr. Irma, girl. You don't need no date, girl. I'm going to get you. But I'm going to sign you up for it as well, you know, because it's it's really about people needing to get out of their own way. And I'm glad that we have you. You know, yeah, he's not a Kevin Samuel. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen. Make it happen. We're going to sit down. We're going to discuss it. We're going to create a plan. And we're, we're going to execute it. Yeah. yeah. So, so before we leave, you guys, give us a hard thumbs up. How do you feel about Kevin Samuel? So I feel so I think because we know a lot of hold on because a lot of a lot of the macho macho people you know in CCS they are freaking love they love they love Kevin, they Samuel. Love Kevin. so they you know Kevin. for me like I, I always refer to like um I always compare myself to like a a, a fitness coach right because yeah. that helps people understand because a lot of times when I say a dating coach or a dating strategist people are like what is that like I never heard of one or heard of that um so I compare myself to uh, um a fitness coach. So some fitness coach, you know, they have that military style, up in your face, very direct. They have that coaching style or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. and they they might appreciate that. I'm me. I like to be more empathetic. I don't want someone leaving my session or for me right, kill or me to um have someone leaving my session or me feeling like I make someone feel like crap, you know. Yeah. So I'm not that one that's gonna be pointing my thing up in your face like that. Um that drill sergeant or anything like that. I'm going to come to you empathetic and be like, well, let's just look at what you're doing now and let's just try to figure out where we can make a change. Where we can make a change. Look, Octavia, Octavia said, Kevin is a no for me. You know, and Kevin's is just an asshole. I mean, his delivery can be a little straightforward, but I do feel like, you know, sometimes he can make people want to go off themselves. You know, mm-hmm. and my, my, you know what my question is: Why do these people keep going up there on the show? Like, why do people know. keep tapping in if they feel like that? But again, like some people like that style of coaching, and you know, it's not my style of coaching, so I, I wouldn't ever put down someone else's style of coaching because again, someone likes it because yeah. he got like hundreds of thousands of views, millions of views. So someone likes it, someone appreciates it, they yeah. keep coming back. So they appreciate that style of coaching. That's just not my style of coaching. And and I look at Kevin how I look at Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, Donald Trump they gave... They do, Raymond. They do like paying some. Yeah. yeah. Like paying. Whereas though Donald Trump gave, you know, those who were in the closet a voice and power. I feel like Kevin speaks for... He gives men a voice that, mm-hmm. you know, already have you know, issues, you know, with, with stuff like, right. <laughs> with and, stuff like, and a lot of time I do believe like what makes the blogs is sometimes his delivery because I've said it on this show a couple of times and cause you've said the same things. 
in a different Kevin way, said, some, in and some way, different, different, form, different, yeah. And people, you right, know, but yeah. I don't ever ask someone how they look and look, yeah, that ain't, that stats and that all that stuff. But I will, I have said that tens want other tens, yeah, and other people, my peers in this profession, they always preach that, like, if you are someone of a certain status, then. Maybe that's what your date. There's always exception to the rule. You mm-hmm. might get someone above that but, or whatever in the different status, but a lot of times tens want other tens, whatever you consider a ten. Like, you yeah. know, again, I like to tell people, create your list what you want in a partner. And if your list don't match that, if you're not offering everything that they're offering that you're asking for on that list, then create another list. Yeah. Your list should match what you want in a partner, I believe. Yeah, absolutely. And then a lot of the times too. You know, some some people out here, goddamn, listen to goddamn Kevin, and and they may have a girlfriend or boyfriend or or wife or husband, and and your goddamn partner doesn't even match what Kevin is saying. So it, sometimes, you know, for me, it's like, you know, if Kevin is saying all of these things, then your partner should goddamn look like that, or the people you go after should look like that. It should sound like this. So it's, it's you know, for me, I have a different point. It's, you know, I feel like. Some people are a little hypocrites when it when it when it comes to that. But I mean, for me, I, I I do. I personally always felt like he gives out like superficial love because, like you said, he starts off with the well, what's your size? What's your dress size? Mm-hmm. Or you know, he told a woman who was in a long term relationship right. with her child's father that uh, she was damaged goods. Because right. and to be just fair, like, oh, I'll say this. Sorry. And to be fair, when I look at so if if I see someone talking about him on his videos and I, if I attempt to look at it, his videos are like really long. So I'm not going to click on something that's long. So I've only seen clips. I never watched a full-length video of Kevin okay. Samuels. Okay. So my assessment is based off of a clip, a three-minute okay. clip, a three-minute clip probably. So that wouldn't really be a fair assessment. Yeah. But a lot of times the clip is someone calling in to him like, "So what do you look like?" or something like that. Yeah. So I feel like that can be like harmful. Or like yeah, just that's like, the part that steers me like away attacking from him. someone's self-esteem. But yeah. again, some people like it. That's just not my coaching style. I would never down another black man or someone that's a peer of mine. He's in the same profession of coaching. I'm not on his level yet, but I mean, that's his style. Someone likes it. Does he come across like he has mommy issues? Does he come across like, again, From I've the only clips. watched... From the clips. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all know Coach like to have, you know, only, and I say that only because, listen, <laughs> listen before we get out of here, because I don't want, you know, I, you know, we got this coach, okay? <laughs> only because, right, I, let, me, let me just give you my thing on it real quick okay. before we get out of here. I feel like everyone hated Derek Jackson. Everyone knows Dick, Derek Jackson was a fraud. I, I feel like. But once they found out. Once they found Well, I mean, rocket science. It, it depends on your. Not in the intuition. beginning. I, I, not in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? This is just my synopsis. Right. You again, give us a hundred thumbs up if you hear. Hey, Instagram. I'm not saying what I say and how I feel is law or gospel. I'm just saying that I, you know, several people have suggested for me to watch Kevin. And I've watched Kevin as my fucking, you know, blood boiled and my ass itched. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I've got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And and I've sat through and I've stomached a whole episode. Even one of my friends was like, look, and she's married. And she's like, look, do me a favor. Drink some, drink, get intoxicated and watch him. And maybe you can, you know, whatever. And I did all of that, okay? So with Derek Jackson, I feel like, you know, Derek was really good at knowing what was going on because Rose fucking Ray Charles would see that Kevin, that Derek was a fucking cheater. That, you know, all of those things. But I feel like when Derek was giving the information about what men is doing and the insightfulness, like, the men hated him. You know, it was like, oh, you know, oh, hell, he's a liar. But with Kevin... You know, because, you know, surprisingly in CCS, you guys go over and join the Facebook group. It's a lot of guys in CCS who don't fuck with Kevin. Like, you know, and I was shocked, you know. But it's like when the man was speaking on the things that men are doing, the, how to tell if your man is this, you know, really hold him in accountable, even though he was out opposite. That, that doesn't matter. That Kevin is like, it seems like some people get like the pleasure out of Kevin, like, Downing, you know, women and men because he's he's winning on men and women, whatever. But, but usually that don't make the blogs, right? Yeah, that doesn't make when he bashes men, that doesn't make it. But when he bashes a woman, that makes it, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like, mm, 
because you know some people you know with with with, with Derek and then with Kevin it's like okay when a man is speaking out about what men are fucking doing and holding you accountable, whether he's telling the truth or not, holding you accountable, saying what's going on, it's like, oh, he's a liar. He's he's uh, uh, a pandering towards women. But with Kevin, it's like, oh, he's the God. He's the greatest. He's telling you women about yourselves. So it's just like, I feel like Kevin gives those, you know, not all, weak men a voice and make them feel empowered. This is just my personal opinion. And like I said, I have watched two of them, you know, a, a few of them, yeah, two, you know, and the man and the woman. And it's just like, it just sucks because it's like, I don't feel like, you know, some of the men that watch that, that, that totally agree with him are really being fair, especially when they aren't even following what the hell he says. You know what I'm saying? Or if they're feeling like, oh, he's right. You should be a size two or three. Well, some of you motherfuckers got y'all motherfucking partners that's a fucking two, three, four, fifteen X. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, do you really follow this man? And what he's saying is, is, is gospel? Because your life doesn't even reflect what you're agreeing with that he does. You know what I'm saying? And you're so, talking about Derek right now. I'm talking about Kevin now. You know, because Kevin... Because his life don't reflect. Yeah, no, I'm saying some people who follow Kevin, lives and relationships don't reflect what he preaches as far as, well, what size do you wear? Well, nobody should. I, so you know I don't feel like saying? anything is 100%. I think you can follow someone and not that you live your life 100% as someone that you're following. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing is 100% in life. Yeah, we absolutely. all are going to there this way for certain reasons or yeah. whatever. So yeah. nothing is 100%. So I don't feel like you have to follow everything that Kevin is saying. Absolutely. And I, I think that when it comes to Kevin or Derek, who has such a huge following, yeah. they make hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions probably, off of what they preach. And they both have a brand, a different brand. Okay. Kevin has his brand. Derek has his brand, which might be male bashing or whatever, lying. I look at... Some people, like, I look at Derek, like, maybe, like, even a preacher. I don't feel like sometimes preachers actually follow pre yeah, what they yeah. saying. But, mm -hmm. hey, this is a family tradition. I'm going to make tons of money off of this. What's the highest paid organizations, education, and church, you know, religion? And, there's a lot, and like you said before, too, before, there's a lot of hurt people and broken people out here, too, that uh, will probably gravitate towards. And I, I just feel like Kevin got a brand. Mm -hmm. Dark has a brand. I'm building my brand. My brand would be strategic, like um, being a dating strategist, helping my clients be strategic when it comes to dating, whatever. Again, and I can't give a fair assessment off of like Kevin because his videos are like, uh, when I look at it, there's so long, I'm not, I know I'm not going to sit through it, so I don't even click on it. Yeah. But he has his own brand, his own lane. Everyone has their own lane. So whichever lane that someone chooses, that must work for them. So, it's working for them. It's yeah, working for yeah, them. Absolutely. Yeah. And shout my brain is going to work for me. So Yeah, shout outs to them. You know what I'm saying? Shout outs to them that it's working for, you know. But, you know, when when it comes on. Because and and he, Raymond said Derek was one-sided. He wasn't yeah. telling the truth. He said what he said to get a box. And now, I feel like that now, might. Just, wait a minute, now, though. Raymond, we might got to have you on here to discuss that because, you know, just from those who may have been in long-term relationships and different things like that, Derek didn't always just seem one-sided. It just was like Derek really said what the fuck y'all be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, really what goes on and what way did he know about it? Because he was also doing it. You know what I'm saying? But, but Raymond, we could definitely have you on the show to, to discuss that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to sway anybody because, you know, you know what Kevin fucking eat and drink don't make me goddamn shit. <laughs> I don't really care. But when people do come on, because I've seen throughout the last year that he is like a hot commodity, I make it a big thing. You know, the last person I asked about Kevin, they was like, Kevin is a fucking clown and he has fucking mommy mm -hmm. issues and I wouldn't dare listen to nobody like Kevin. I think I know that person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> You know, not just you knowing the person, but even in the group, like, but I've made posts about it, you know, and they're my members, so I always speak, you know, Damien and them, right. you know, and Huey. It's, it's right. a lot of them that don't feel and, like and even, they would even fucking Even give an assessment on his brand, on his videos, again, he's making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of this. He's now a household name in certain communities. So he might not even think like this, but this is what's going to get him on the shade room. This is going to get him on the other blogs. Right. So keep him relevant. He, this is his business. This is yeah. his gimmick. 
it's it's his gimmick. Yeah. You know I mean? It's it's gimmick. <laughs> I tell you, look, hey Damien, there he go, there he go, he showed up. He said, them dudes running scams on weak minded people that need a leader. And that's and I feel you know the what same that remind way. me of? Remember that guy um and that was here incarcerated at the um the prison. Tavon White. Yeah, I ain't gonna say his name. Oh, the shit, is, the shit is probably. But no, but no, yeah. He had yeah. all the baby mamas Playing on jail. people's insecurities. Sometimes yeah. people will do that. I'm not yeah. saying that's what they're doing, but when no, you said that, that made me think of it. Um, yeah. But people will play on your insecurities, and, you know, people do yeah. again. People, you know, people, people will people play on your insecurities. I think someone said people, like, hurt or something on here. I think it was Raymond. Yeah, I, and Octavia, oh, shit. Hmm. Hold on, there we go. Octavia said, and Kevin is an asshole with mommy issues. Yeah, he definitely comes off as he didn't like his son. I would be curious to know what type, what your daddy is like. You know right. what I'm saying? And again, so to say he got mommy issues, again, this is someone who's making hundreds of thousands of dollars. He might, I'm not saying he has mommy issues, right. but he might just be doing it for a paycheck. And I'm not saying that gotcha. that's right. Oh, if gotcha. you don't believe in what you're preaching, but again, he makes lots of money off of this He makes lots of money off of yeah. it. Yeah, and, and you know, that's funny that you said that, um, the you, church is a gimmick. I agree, LeBron. The church is a gimmick. Barbara said that's exactly what it is. It's a gimmick. Okay. I agree. So I agree. Barbara said she wrote because she ain't here for Kevin and them shits. LeBron said that no, I the agree church, that, like, the church a, is a gimmick. Again, a lot of times I don't, I don't believe that preachers agree with what they're saying. I think that they're saying it because hey, this is going. It's a family tradition, and this is going to rake in the money. You yeah, know, schools yeah. and and religion is one of the. High, at the, the top, top. is raking in those millions. And you know what I want to normalize? And you know what I, like, I would like to normalize before we get out of here tonight? Because, you know, season four is back live in the goddamn motherfucking effect. And every show has gone over an hour. Okay? And I'm gonna get, you know, coach tell me respect his goddamn time. Okay? I, I, understand. I know you. <laughs> I know you now. <laughs> but, you know, um, you know, back to what they said in the comments. That's definitely, you know, it's definitely true. I definitely agree with that because you have people who are doing things just because they're getting paid, you know, just because they're getting paid for it. Mm -hmm. And I, and, and, but the one thing that I would like to normalize is, and it's with anything, whether it's victim shaming or anything like that, that I see all over the media, um, with these guys and women and men who come out, even with Dr. Dre and all of them, when Michelle Lay did the video saying he was beating her People was like, oh, there's no way he did that. Like, can we stop trying to tell people what happened to them? Like, we cannot tell people what happened to them. I, I'm not really familiar with the whole Kevin thing as far as, like, I think his ex-wife had, like, spoke out or something. And I saw people saying, oh, you know, telling her she's lying, she's bitter, whatever the case may be. But it's like, everybody is not lying. You know, these people know these people be before we know these people and before it becomes right. Her, you know what I'm saying? The thing about with the wife thing in Kevin Samuels is that it's his wife that's one person. That's her experience. Yeah. She could be a scorned wife or she something like be, that. She could be. But so we cannot automatically that. deem her scorn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We cannot automatically deem her scorn because she's been And I only say that, Coach, before you chop my head off, is, be, is because, you know, us as men and women, when we're in relationships with people and people decide to discuss what happened to their previous relationships and be like, oh, my ex, she was crazy or he was crazy. No, 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 nigga. What the fuck happened? Like, let's not, you know, coach say crazy can't hide the cause longer than 10 minutes and he was with this bitch for about seven years. You know? <laughs> you, you, you gotta look at the you, you know choices what I'm saying? you made. It's like, the decisions everybody, you, you know, my, that's my whole thing. Everybody is not lying about the experiences and things that they've had with these people. But because people worship and idolize people, you know, and make them their, you know, or oh, what are he saying or what she's saying is has to be the right way. It's like, okay, so I see why you're like a little defensive. But for me, I do I do feel like Kevin had mommy issues. I'm dying. I would love to know what his dad looks like. Um <laughs> hopefully he he doesn't hit us with the coach disclosure. You know, because y'all know tell matter of fact, tell Kevin come have a conversation with Miss Vibrations. Cause we won't get to the real because you know y'all, I love one thing I like I love about my audience, you know, you guys, y'all can pick out the real from the fake. And I and I and I love that, you know. That's why I always say when people come to on the show and they're guests, be yourself, 
Because I'm not going to be able to vibe with you if if you're not. If you can't sit here and talk about how many times you goddamn lied and cheated on your goddamn wife and how many times you, you know, cheated on your boyfriend or your husband and burnt him and he burnt you and the, how many babies you done had, you don't want to sit here. Because this is all about transparency. You know the no judgment zone. The no judgment zone. So that's what I wanted to do because we're all going through things. We all experience things. But I do believe Kevin have given, he's given the voiceless a voice. He's given, you know, he's helped some people maybe find their purpose. And I'm just like, Lord, man, you know, blessed. What they say on oh, hand, May Tell? Blessed be the fruit. <laughs> you never watched that? I watched like the first three episodes and oh. I felt I was, like I was tortured. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I feel watching Kevin. <laughs> Again, but, I never watched a whole episode just yeah. like a three minute clip, so I really yeah. can't give a fair assessment. Yeah, I, you know, but just from a personal, professional assessment, you know, his his style is a little oomph for the coach, you know. Just oh, Again, I can't give a fair assessment. It's only been three minutes. Like, I, I never click, like, I can't, I will not ever click on a video that says like a hundred in like 56 minutes. I'm not going to do it. So that's probably what's keeping me from clicking on one of his videos. But the clips that I saw, again, again, like I say, a lot of people, like a lot of my peers, uh -huh. we say tens want other tens. And I feel like that's what he is trying to say. I think his delivery might be a little harsher. Again, it's not my style. But I feel like what he's saying is what a lot of people in our field are saying. Like, hey, Tens want other tens. Okay. Yeah, and how I put it is your list should match the list that you want. That's, yeah. that's well, how I put if, it. And should your list match you? Y your, your list should be about you, and then your list that you want and your partner should be identical. Identical. Yeah. You know? So do you have any, you know, give us a hundred thumbs up, you guys. Thank you for watching the show tonight. Do you have any encouraging words? What's your quote of the day? What do you want to tell the people of CCS? That love this Armady man. You know what I'm saying? He just looks so good. Yo. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Yeah, I'm Can trying, we go I'm on trying to get rid of my COVID. Can mate. we go on the <laughs> Can we go on the Absolutely. I've been asking you all for happy hour forever. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would just say this. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram. Hold on. Let me <laughs> put it up here. Let me put it up here, you guys. Coach Follow Nick. Follow Coach Nick yes. Love. You know, making a difference. You know, look, you know, I'm always at that oof to it. Coaches out here making a difference. They bickering in the comments about Kevin. <laughs> you know, again, they he, might not, he, just, Kevin. he just might not be there. Like, your, your approach. Yeah, and again, might you might need someone that's more empathetic. And that's, that's not... I feel like that's going to have you leaving a session feeling like crap. Yeah. And that's why you have me, your personal dating coach. Yeah, personal coach Nick Love. Follow coach me on Nick Facebook. Love. Instagram, coachnicklove.com. When you hit up my, you can go to my website, look at my prices and whatever my prices are for whatever you you want, you'll get that 30% off if you have this card, That's that VIP CCS card. Period. So follow me, coachnicklove.com on all platforms and coachnicklove.com. Hit me up. Because we're here to get you out your own way and get some people married because goddamn God is coming back and some of y'all is going to speed both to hell. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm definitely, definitely. I love Coach. It is always a pleasure. Yes. To I'm so happy to be back. Thank you, CC members, for just accepting me yeah. and being so cool. Like yeah. I love your members and the community you created. I think everyone is cool. Yeah, I met some of them at your um the first year anniversary and the third year anniversary, and I even went to um LeBrent. He has um the event that he throws for the gentleman. Uh -huh. I went to that and it was like a good experience. Well, so, shout out to LeBrent. Yeah, shout okay, out to LeBrent. For um, doing his thing. Yes, like so just like my experience in interacting with your community, I love it. It's always been a great warm hug for me. Yes, so I love yes. it all. So it's I just thank like, you for exposing me to your community members. So thank you. Well, 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 you know, thank you. You know, that's what I'm here to do. You know, inspire the uninspired, you know, and you know, I had to tread lightly with that statement because I'm seeing a lot of carbon copies but you know you can just as long as you you know can't original can't be duplicated but that's another show for another day matter of fact that's a topic for the uh for the uh reality show here where i go into more details about the hoops and hurdles that i have experienced along my journey so i truly i truly appreciate i appreciate that you know with all you guys being here 
and it's dope. You know what I'm saying? Just like with anything, with Nova time, Nova can give it some time and the work. Just like Ryan Dunstan. Oh my gosh, we have a special treat for Ryan Dunstan. You know the gentleman who was on the show last week. Oh my gosh, make sure you check out all the announcements and Candy Golden tickets for that. Um, he he's going to be hosting um, his own segment here. You know, and, and I'm just thrilled and excited about that. Whenever he's on, I just always want to be a guest and a, an observer more so than the host, you know, because um, he's all, he, I love him because he's very transparent, open and honest about his experiences. And the feedback that I always get from him being on the show is just so dope. But, you know, you guys stay great. Thank you for watching us. Tune in again next week. We have what's next week? Next week, the last week in the October? I think so. Okay. So we got Crazy Fonzo that's supposed to be coming on from the Battle of the Sexes. Um, you know, I'm going to bring his little black ass here because it's easier to control him when he's here versus trying to control him virtually. Amen. You know, he is, <laughs> it's a lot trying to control him virtually. But I love it. You know, he'll be in. We'll get into some good things. Um, and I just appreciate you guys out here. You know, always strive for excellence. You know, in the words of Ryan Dunstan from, you know, True Kings and the Ryan Dunstan podcast, we all know if you're doing something that makes a difference, being positive is not popular. You know, so it may take um, us a little longer, but we're going to get there. And I just appreciate all of you guys. So make sure that you always strive for excellence. Make tomorrow better than yesterday. And as long as you're trying and attempting to get out of your own way that's all that matters no one can change that and always be true to you remember you take you everywhere you go so if you're not working on self then i don't know what to tell you until next time we will see you guys later <laughs>